guys do you want to know how to install microsoft sql server and how to use it so this video is for you hey guys welcome back to my channel guys in this video i will be showing you how to install microsoft sql server and i will be showing you how to create database and how to create table inside it everything i am going to show you step by step so do follow my video till end guys so let's start the video you can open any of your favorite browser and just type sql server server and here you can see it is showing the official website that is microsoft.com you can just click on this sql server download link and now it has redirected me to sql server download page and here we are having different downloads available just scroll below and here you can see we have uh, free special edition downloads available developer as well as express so we will be installing express uh, which is again a free edition so just click on this download button okay here you can see it has downloaded my exe file so now this download is done let's install this so just click on this exe file let me minimize my browser and here you can see it is showing me sql server 2000 express edition and it is showing me select the installation type three type it is showing me basic custom and download media i'm going to select basic okay so just select this basic okay on this page we have to accept the license and agreement so just click on this accept button and now it has taken me to this page it is showing the installation location of sql server so it will go in c colon program files microsoft sql server if you wish to change you can click on this browse button and just change okay so now i don't want to change i'm keeping default so i will be clicking on this install button it is downloading installation packages after downloading packages it will install it so we have to wait for a while okay so you can see it is showing me download successful so now it will start installing it so we have to again wait for a while okay so guys you can see my installation is also completed it is showing me it has completed successfully and here it is showing me different information so first information is connection string so it is showing me instance name and its connection string second is what log file so whenever you create database a log file is created so this is showing me the folder of log file and next we have installation media folder and lastly we have installation resources folder so these are the folders location which has been shown over here now to verify the installation you can just click on this connect now button and if you see something like this that mean your installation is successful okay okay now I am going to minimize this so now I will be installing SS MS that is SQL Server Management Studio. So that is a studio means a, a tool using that you can write a query, you can connect to your database, you can create a database, everything you can do at one place. So for that you need to click on this install SSMS button. So it is going to open on your browser. So now you can see it has taken me to again Microsoft website, download SQL Server Management Studio and here here you can see it is showing me SSMS 19 so let's download SSMS 19 so for that I have to click on this link download SSMS 19 okay my download is started now we have to wait for it fine guys my download is done now I will be clicking on this to start my installation I'll just minimize this and here it's showing me SQL Server Management Studio so I need to just click on this install button okay so it will install in again a C colon program files if you want to change you can change it so I don't want to change I'm just clicking on install button okay here it's showing me progress of my installation so again it will take time so we have to wait 
okay so guys you can see it's showing me my setup is completed so my microsoft sql server management studio that is ssms is installed on my pc so now let's start this okay so let me close everything you can type sql server management studio or you can type ssms both will work so now i have just started my sql server management studio and now here my studio has been started and here it's showing me various details showing me server type so i'm going to select database engine server name so this is a name has been given while installation and authentication type i'm taking as windows authentication and now we have to just click on this connect button here you can see it's showing me green color that mean it has been connected to your server and now here it's showing me several folders available here you can see it's showing me database folder so just expand this here it's showing me system database as well as database snapshot okay guys now after installation let's uh, run queries also so to run queries you need to just click on this new query button and it will open this window where you can type your queries there are other ways also by which you can write your queries and run your queries so i'm using the simplest one so now here the first command which i will be typing as create database command so for creating database i will type this command let me just increase size so i'm just taking size as 200 and here i'm typing create database and database name is cs corner and semicolon and enter now another command i will be writing use cs corner because by default it takes my master database now i will be changing my database to cs corner first execute create database command and then uh, execute use cs corner command command successfully executed and here you can see now my database has been changed from master to cs corner okay now in this database i'm going to create a table so for creating table i'm going to write create table student i'm creating a simple table with two column roll number and name column so roll number is going to be of integer type and I'm giving roll number as primary key and then my second column is going to be student name and that I'm giving as varchar 20 and then put the semicolon and done guys so um, this is my table structure it will create table with two column and here now let's uh, execute this command so just select again and click on execute button so command executed successfully my table has has been created let's verify whether table has been created or not so, so right click on database and refresh and you can see guys it is showing me my cs corner database and in that just expand this table and you can see it is showing me student uh, table also so guys i conclude my video i hope by following my video you are really able to install microsoft sql server on your system so guys if you like this video hit on like button and share with your friends and guys if you have any query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys i have shared my all social media link in description box you can follow me or join me there also you can send me your queries on instagram but before that you have to follow me also i am sharing lots of pdf and notes on my telegram channel you can join my telegram channel Channel, that too freely I'm sharing guys if my videos are really helping you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for receiving notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching my video till end I'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning